So you're welcome again. Thank you very much for making this time. And we'll just dive right in. Time is not with us. It, this is the household Zoom talk. Every Sunday we have it at 9.30. And uh, uh, afterwards, we record this uh, on YouTube. So you do well to subscribe on YouTube also so that when the programs are hearing on, on YouTube, you can have a notification. So let's just feel free, feel relaxed. There'll be a few things which might be said here, which you might not understand, but never mind. If you are, if you are, if you have an open mind, eventually you will understand. The good part is that uh, these are verifiable facts. Like we all say, the truth verifies itself. And uh, like I always say, I have not come to teach you the truth, but I've come to guide you into truth. The truth is what it is. Moses says, God says, I am what I am. I am that I am. It is what it is. So the truth will vindicate it itself. All I will do, all I do is to guide you into truth. So let's just get ready and just have a short conversation. Because this life, everyone, you begin to understand. Uh, um, I take my time to speak. I'm so slow so that people can get to understand. In this life, everyone has to live their life. Every, uh, everyone has to live their life and they have to go through these lives on their own. We were saying that uh, the war of Armageddon last week is the war between good and, uh, and evil. We saw that in the book of Revelation. So, and like I, I was saying just now, truth vindicates itself. There's no truth that contradicts itself. And truth, and no one holds the truth. The truth is what it, it is, what it is. It's there, and no one holds it. Not, not one nation holds it. Truth is like the sun. It's the son of God. America doesn't, doesn't own the sun. Africa doesn't own the sun. I'm just giving an example, but truth is what it is. So hey, everyone, folks, everyone has to walk this lonely valley, lonesome valley. Everyone, you will realize as you grow, and which I'm sure everyone of you has realized, everyone has to walk this lonesome valley we have to walk it by ourselves. That's why we are here trying to listen to the truth because everyone has to walk this lonesome valley and we have to walk it by ourselves. Nobody here can walk it for you, for you or for us. We have to walk it by ourselves. Which you begin to realize that with life, then you begin to, be, to, to become responsible and take responsibility. And like I always say, we are on earth to learn the earth and grow. My father has to walk this lonesome valley. He has to walk it by himself. Nobody here can walk it for him. He has to walk it by himself. My mother has to walk this lonesome valley. She has to walk it by herself. Nobody here can walk it for her. She herself can only walk it for herself. My brother has to walk this lonely, lonesome valley. He has to walk it by himself. Nobody here can walk it for him. He has to walk it by himself. My son, my daughter, name it, every human being has to walk this lonesome valley called life. So, but this platform, we try to go to, to understand the truth the way it is. Like I told you, and we use the Bible because the, the Bible we are we are excited with the Bible because whoever compiled the Bible did a good job to 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 engrave the truth in their culture. But the Bible, like I always say, you need to be good to you, you need to understand that the Bible is not historical. It's not a historical book. The Bible is prophetic. So if you look at the Bible historically, you'll be you'll get lost. Maybe I'll speak to that effect. You know, people want to to rub the Bible in our face like it's a history book. 
Now, Moses was more lived like that, Joseph, whatever. You realize how people compiled. Remember, whoever gave us religion, the one who gave us religion was the Romans. So we need to understand what circumstances led to that and how did they do that. So anyway, it is beneath the dignity of God again. That's why we say you need to begin to understand the truth because the truth will save you. The world is controlled by, by the truth, maybe through natural law or remember Paul says, you, you cannot mock God. He says, uh, whatever you saw, so shall you read. So the truth, in fact, at some point, I, I mentioned that there is a God, whether you like it or not. But it's not, it is not the one God, it is not the one humanity has, has explained to us. There is a God, and, 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 and this God is truth. If you want to know God, you will understand by following the truth. And it is beneath the dignity of this God for God to destroy the righteous with the wicked. You know, I'm speaking this because we are going through a, a lot of things now, calamities and, and everything. But as we begin to follow what this truth is, we begin to understand how to, to save ourselves from these ignorances and these wrong choices. Another caution I would want to give to, the, to you people and the world is, I know for a fact, I've been doing this for over 20 years. Um, so I understand what I'm talking about. I know the truth which I bring to this fora, to the world. I know you will not receive me sometimes. Some of you will not receive me or hear me. So these are just ways the, the questions which I should show you that I understand, I know. I know you will not receive me or hear me, but I'm going to say it anyway until the day I leave this earth. Because why do I say this? I told you that we believe in the Bible. The, the Bible guides us. The Bible has told me that the, these things I'm going to speak to the world. No one will hear me. No one will receive me. But I have to say, I have to say it anyway. Job 8.45, sorry, John chapter 8, verse 45 says, and because I tell you the truth, remember? Everyone bringing the truth to the world is not believed. I'm not talking about religious truth. I'm not, I'm, I'm not talking about Christianity or Shintoism or Hinduism. I'm talking out about the truth, which is God. This truth, which no one holds, which no one has. You know, because we believe the Christians have the truth. The Muslims have the truth. No, no, no. The truth stands on its own. And when this truth is brought into your mind, if brought to you by someone, it is very difficult to believe. That's why we say you need to, for you to begin to learn what I'm trying to say, you need to empty your cup, empty your head. So John 8, 45, just as a preamble, let me just throw some of the scriptures for you in the, in the, in the box for you to follow, for those who want to read. Let me throw them there for you. Let's just enjoy, relax, feel free. So I've sent something there, which I will read as the scriptures. I'm trying to make a point here. So I was saying John, which I've sent in the message box, John 8, 45. And, uh, and because I tell you the truth, you believe me not. 8, 46, which of you convinces me of sin? That's Christ asking him. And if I say the truth, why do you not believe me? John 5, 43. I am come in my father's name, and you receive me not. And if another shall come in his own name, him you will receive. Acts 22, 8. And saw him saying unto me, make haste and get thee quickly out of Jerusalem. For they will not receive thy testimony concerning me. The testimony concerning the actual truth, people do not receive it. If you go, even Paul, Paul will tell you in the books of, in, in the letters to Timothy, 
he confessed at my when Paul stopped preaching religion and started preaching the the real truth about life. The Bible says he is he is uh, telling Timothy that all Asia has forsaken me because they will not receive it. Luke twenty two sixty seven. Art thou the Christ? They will ask him. Tell us. And he said unto them, If I tell you, you will not believe. So if you ask me, am I telling the truth? But if I tell you the, 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 the same truth, you will not be you will not believe. So, like I'm saying, I'm not here to be believed. I'm not here to teach you the truth again. Please. I am not here to teach you the truth. I'm not here to be believed. I'm here to guide you into truth. Why? Because it has been the truth in me, the God in me. When I look at you, I see the hope of humanity. I'm in love with humanity. That's why I do what I do. Because the Bible says they shall all be taught of God. You, you know that. Even Paul, when he's writing to Timothy in 2 Timothy 2 verse 25, he says, in meekness, instructing those that oppose themselves. If God, perhaps, not me, in meekness, I'll always instruct you. If God, perhaps, will give them repentance to the acknowledgement, to, to the acknowledgement of the truth. So we begin to understand that. Because uh, when, they, when we have a lot of people who believe in the truth in the world, then the world will be saved. I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. When I say that short introduction to what we are going to talk about. So that is what is happening. We are in the days, again, you need to understand why people cannot believe. We are in the days where he that is unjust will, will, will be unjust still. They will not understand. I told you before, this, the flesh is the slave to the real tyrant. The real tyrant is your mind. Well, I explained to you, the mind is the devil's pit. So the flesh is the slave to, to the real tyrant called the mind. That's the one I'm here to kill, the mind. So that we begin to understand now things the way the Bible would be. I, I just want to conclude on what we discussed last week and then we can move on. Last week, uh, we were discussing that uh, religion as we know it, the symbols are just sun worship. I think for, for those who, are, who would want to catch up, they would um, go and check the YouTube for last Sunday. But for now, I'll go on. I know that's what I'm saying. For those of you which these things will look confusing, you can go to the last Sunday and just catch up and then follow up with this recording also, which we will put on YouTube again. I always say nothing in this world works the way you think it does. Maybe let me just, for us to understand what I'm trying to tell you, we need to understand what has been told to us. What is this thing they have brought in our face? So nothing in this world works the way you think it does. That you must know. What you know is not what it is sometimes. I told you I study theology and religion. Not to learn from it, but to learn about it. I study these things to learn about them, not because I want to learn from them. Of course, when I learn about them, then I will know how to understand the truth. So it's a fascinating story once you learn how our religion came to, to being. That's why I like telling this story. It's very fascinating. How did our story, how did our religion become to be Christianity, Hinduism, uh, uh, Shintoism, all the isms, Buddhism? It's very fascinating when you begin to understand. People will always support the problem with humanity is that you will or people will always support what they want to hear. And that's why people have been deceived because they want to hear what, because they always support what they want to hear. But what they don't want to hear, they'll never support it. That, that's why I say sometimes the things I say, you will not believe me. I know that. But my business is to say it because I love humanity. 
So they will not support what they don't want to hear. For example, if you love country music, you are not going to pay 30 bucks for a rap session, for a rap show. So what people generally uh, speaking do not want to hear is the truth. People do not want to hear the truth generally. It's difficult. You, no one wants to hear the truth. So nobody is happy when they, are, when they have to be faced with the truth. No one is happy. That's why people lie easily. Even when you are caught at home, uh, your wife finds a, a funny text in your phone. The first impulse is to, write, is to rush to, to lies because no one wants to be faced with the truth, which is so sad. But there are some brave people. Again, there are some brave people, like you are brave to come to this, to this forum. But there are some brave people in this world who can take one, who can take on the truth. They are there. People need to be smart enough to accept that there is still a lot they do not know. When you, are, when you are smart enough to accept that there's still a lot that you do not know, it will be easy for you to understand the truth. We need to be truth seekers, like I always say. We are here to learn the earth. We are here to grow. Like, for example, let's talk about, because we are coming from the Christian background. I'll just take a small historical thing which we have come to believe this is of God. This is from God. Catholic priests, judges, graduating school kids wear black robes. If you notice, it's just that now things are changing. Some people have got green, whatever. But you, in the beginning, when you are graduating, you wore a black, a black robe. The Catholic priests wore black robes. Judges wore black robes. Rabbis wear black robes. This idea comes from the worship of, of, the, of the, the planet Saturn, S-A-T-U-R-N, the ring planet. This idea came, you know, I'm trying to mention the planet Saturn today because it has significant influence in our way we worship. Last week we were discussing the moon and the sun. But today, in a short while, let me just to talk about this because it has an impact on our lives. The idea of wearing black robes came from the planet Saturn in ancient times. These are verifiable facts. There are symbols for the planet Saturn. Saturn was called by ancient people, Lord of the Rings. And I'm sure you have watched that, 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 that movie, The Lord of the Rings. That was what Saturn was called. This is why, if you realize in our time, this is why women were told in the ancient times we are taught to listen to their God. And the concept was that they would wear an earring so that you remember that you should listen to your God. Remember, Saturn is a ringed planet, ring planet. So men were to marry before their God. Every time you wanted to marry, you were to marry before your God. And I told you, remember when I mentioned this planet, I'm not saying people worship planets. No, people would use the planets to explain what God is in their own way. So men were to marry before their gods, so they would wear wedding rings. Because the all ancient gods of the Middle East, one of them was the planet Saturn. Saturn was directly connected to Yahweh. That's where the word worshiping of Yahweh came from. The Jews used to explain God, their God whom they called Yahweh, using their, the planet Saturn, the Hebrew God. So Saturn was not Saturn devil, Saturn the planet. Saturn was directly connected to Yahweh, the Hebrew God. And so this is why even today, the Jews celebrate the worship of Saturn. Saturn in the old Phoenician language was called Shabbat, S-H-A-B-A-T-H. -A -A and his worship to honor him once a week was called Sabbath. You see, that, and you go and say, no, Sabbath is a Saturday, it's only day. But you don't understand where these things are, are coming from. You hear Christians, some are, are fighting, you worship God on Sunday, you're worshiping the sun. You're worshiping God, worshiping God is Saturday. Saturday 
if you want to take it like that, if you worship God on Saturday, you're worshiping Yahweh, you're worshiping the planet Saturn too. So when the Jews are having Sabbath, they are actually paying homage to their God, Saturn. Lord of the Rings. The things we, we are worshiping now is just simply planets. We're not worshiping the truth. I'm trying to, to for us to understand where we're coming from, even before we begin to understand what is this truth I'm talking about, which no one has, which stands on its own, which I also don't have. I can only guide you into it. The six-pointed star, for example, they told you, people even put the six-pointed uh, stars on their t-shirts on everything they, they, they deem holy. The six-pointed star is called the Star of David. Actually, it's not the Star of David. All the references and encyclopedias, if you check them, will tell you that it's called the star of Saturn, the planet Saturn. It's a hexagram, isn't it? It's a, it's a, it's a hexagram. So hexagrams represent the planet Saturn. And then when you look at the Christian system of things, when you go to the Christian system of things, the Christian church, sorry, I'm going to say something. I'm not trying to demean to, to demean anyone, but I'm trying. I'm saying this from the historical way of looking at, at what became what we call Christianity now. And I told you, Christianity is not a bad religion; it's a religion for the faint-hearted. It's a religion for people who have not matured in the in the truth. It's a religion for the people who cannot face the truth. It softens them, but. Paul says we need to leave that and go into perfection. So I'm saying this in the context of what I'm trying to explain. The Christian church is a disgrace. It's filled with lies, deception, innuendos. It's a money-making corporation. It operates under mar maritime adored law. And there is the whole world of knowledge that Christians have not been given about the scripture. No one, there is this truth they haven't give you, given you about the scripture. When I say the Christian church is a disgrace, I'm not saying the Bible is a, is a disgrace. The Bible is a perfect book and that's the book we use on this forum. Only that we, we try to tell you that the Bible is not hist uh, uh, historical. Whatever is happening in the Bible is prophetic and, it's, we, uh, and the allegories, we need to decode the allegories and that we got from the bible itself paul tells us these are, are allegories like for example last sunday i was telling you that people will tell you that the jews in the middle east we need to to follow them we need to do good to the the paul will tell you in the book of galatians 4 that that the physical jerusalem you see is barren our jerusalem is heavenly the mother of us all and i told you heaven is the scriptures the truth the Jerusalem, which is in the truth, is the mother of our soul. So those are the allegories. They use the, the Jews took the truth, the meaning of the truth, and in, uh, encapsulated them in their religious activities. But then you, you the, the, then you follow the actual historical stories and start believing that's what is happening. But you need to to find someone who knows how to decode this. And this is this person we call the Son of Man because it's from, from among you. So when you do that, you see that uh, this is what is happening. The Christians have been blind to the whole lot of uh, um, the scripture and vote knowledge, which they do not know. So the law, uh, I, I was saying that uh, the Christian church is a disgrace. I'm saying it again for, for some reason. Don't take my statement out of context. It's because it's filled with lies, deception, innuendos. It's a money-making corporation. It operates under maritime adorate law, and there is the whole world of knowledge that Christians have not been given about the scripture, about who wrote the Bible, where it came from. You understand? Just you a reminder. Understand. You don't know who wrote the Bible. I'm not saying... Remember, I'm saying the truth is not even... Just a reminder, we yeah. are about to be logged out in a minute time. So we will we have to use the same login in credentials we had used earlier on to log in back for the second session of our meeting. Thank you. Okay, thanks.
Okay, for now, for, for a minute, I will ask a question. I mean, if anybody has a question on what we are talking about before I move on, I know we'll be locked out. So Zipe um, and everyone, John, please, you log back in when you're logged out because it, it does that if you're, if, when you're using the free, free Zoom. So any questions or any additions? Oh, who, who wants to add? Lumbuka, you want to say something? On a few things we have discussed? Oh, Mwape? Mwape, you want to say something? Um, okay. Um, it's just an appreciation, I think, um, from the... <coughs> From the scripture, from the interpretation of uh, the planet Saturn, and how people today, because of um, I may say ignorance, how we've interpreted the scriptures to to suit our understanding and not necessarily understanding the core essence of what the scripture is talking about. So, like for example, in today's time, people argue about the day of the day of worship that no, the day was granted by God, which is the Sabbath. But when we go to the roots of where that Sabbath is coming from, we understand to say that that was a day that was dedicated to the planet certain. And um, so in our ignorant state, we would think you no know, God himself actually came and told people to be worshiping on that day. But in the actual context, we know that all days actually No, did we lose more pay? Anyone else? Lumbuka, do you want to say something? I think not for this session, but I'm following. Thank you. Okay. Amwanza will be logged out. I don't want to go on teaching because then I might lose the line. Abusa Mwanza. Oh, Leonard, say something. I'm not, I'm not saying anything. I'm not saying anything, sir. So far, so good. 